The Aldrich Family, based on characters originated by Clifford Goldsmith and starring Ezra Stone as Henry with Jackie Kelk as Homer. Henry! Henry Aldrich! Coming, Mother! Each election year, we hear a lot of talk about favorite sons. But Centerville, USA, claims one who has nothing to do with politics. Mr. and Mrs. Aldrich's boy, Henry. And because he is just a real American boy, well, that makes Henry Aldrich everybody's favorite son. Our scene tonight opens in the Aldrich living room, where we find Henry and his sister, Mary. Mary! Mary! What is it, Henry? Mary, have you seen my new wristwatch any place? Your wristwatch? Where did you leave it? I didn't leave it any place. I just can't find it. Mary, you haven't finished what you were doing in the kitchen. Oh, I'll go right out, Mother. And, Henry, I want you to go upstairs and get washed. Yes, Mother, just as soon as I finish looking for something. Wash especially well, dear. Aunt Harriet's going to be here for dinner. She is? And you know how she is about everything like that. May I ask what you're upsetting all the cushions on the sofa for? Oh, nothing. I just happen to be... Looking for something. I certainly hope you wrote your Aunt Harriet and thanked her for the lovely wristwatch she sent you. Yes, Mother. I wrote her the minute I heard she was coming. Oh, you didn't find anything out of the ordinary when you swept under the sofa, did you? What would you call out of the ordinary? Nothing. Just dust or something. Mother, what time shall I put the potatoes on? Oh, Henry, what time is it? Why, it's exactly, um, about, uh... Why, I, I should say it's, um... The time is 26 minutes after 6. Hello, Father. Am I glad to see you. Put the potatoes on right away, Mary. Henry, I hope you're going to wash before Aunt Harriet gets here. E- yes, Father. Have you seen anything lying around that's sort of round and shiny? Such as what? Well, well, if you saw it, you couldn't help but notice it. Father, Mother wants to know whether you remember to bring that picture Aunt Harriet gave us down from the attic. Which one? The Coliseum in Ruins. I'll go up and get it. Oh, and Henry, Mother says that at dinner you ought to sit on Aunt Harriet's right. On her right? Mm Mm-hmm. Where she can see my left wrist? Henry Aldridge, do you mean to say you lost that beautiful watch she sent you? No, Mary, I'm sure I can find it. Oh, my goodness, if you can. You know how depressed Aunt Harriet gets over a thing like that. That isn't the half of it. She said if I'd take good care of it, maybe she'd give me a new bicycle. Henry, haven't you washed yet? Yes, Mother. Mary... If anyone asks where I am, tell them I'll be right back. Where are you going? I just happened to remember. I left my watch across the street at Nancy Adams's. I'll be right back, Mary. Can't you help me look for my watch, Herbert? Are you sure you left it here? I must have. I've just been over at Nancy Adams's, and it isn't there any place. But, Henry, I don't see how you could lose a watch on my front lawn. And this is where I remember wearing it last. Herbert, let me see the watch you have on. Now, listen, Henry, this isn't yours. It's exactly like mine, it's Herbert. It's the same, mate. But is your strap worn as much as this? No. Was the second hand gone? No, but could I borrow that watch just for this evening? No, Henry. You don't know how to take care of a watch. I've never ruined the strap or busted my second hand, have I? No, but you've lost the whole watch, haven't you? But if my Aunt Harriet finds I've misplaced it, she'll she'll get depressed and refuse to give me a bicycle. Henry, you're the last person in the world my folks would want me to loan my watch to. What makes them feel that way about me? They don't even think you're a very good influence for me. All right. Listen. Would you let me wear your watch if I give you all my allowance for the week of October 15th? Uh, why would I have to wait that long? I owe everything until then. I wouldn't be interested. You wouldn't be interested? Well, would you consider two weeks' allowance beginning October 15th? No. But I wouldn't be asking you to help me if it didn't mean a lot. Henry, my folks will raise the deuce. Herbert, I'm not asking you to give me your watch. Tomorrow I'll bring it back as safe as though I'd never taken it. But supposing my folks ask me what time it is? All right, give me a call and I'll be glad to tell you what time it is. Would you give me three weeks' allowance? Three? Sure. 
Come on over by this tree so my mother doesn't see it. Herbert, if there's ever anything I can do for you of any nature whatsoever, just name it. Here, Henry's the watch. Thanks, Herbert. Boy, if I gotta run, it's a good thing we're eating late tonight. Now be careful. Herbert? Uh, what is it, Mother? You have the correct time. Why, uh... It's exactly 12 minutes to 7, Mrs. Thompson. Herbert, could you come here a minute, please? Uh, don't you think I ought to put the lawnmower away first? Will you please come here? Sure. Has something gone wrong, Mother? May I see your watch, please? My watch? You didn't by any chance give it to Henry, did you? To Henry? What was it you gave him? I didn't give him anything. I loaned him my watch, but, Mother, he's going to give me his allowance for the last two weeks in October and the first week in November. Herbert, do you realize how much your father paid for that watch? But the money Henry's paying me is interest on the investment. I want you to march over to Henry's house and get that watch this minute. Right now. At once. But, Mother, I don't think I should. Herbert, do you want me to tell your father? Okay, I'll go. And if you dare to come home without your watch, you will go without your allowance for one entire month. Sam, ask Harriet whether she won't have another piece of steak. More steak, Harriet? No, thank you. How many nights a week can you people afford steak? Well, we're really having this for you. You needn't have bought it for me. Where's Henry? He ought to be down any minute, Aunt Harriet. I heard him run upstairs a little while ago. Father never let us be late when we were children. Henry! Henry Aldrich! Yes, Father? Do you realize we're practically through with dinner? I'll be right there. Sam, as long as you have so much steak, give me that piece next to the bone. All right, sir. What on earth is that? Henry. I'm awfully sorry I'm late. <laughs> Hello, Aunt Harry. How do you do? Henry, didn't you know what time it was? Oh, oh yes, Father. It's ten minutes after seven. Henry, where did you get that watch? Why, Mary, why? Oh, nothing. Uh, will you have some bread, Aunt Harry? No, thank you. A- Aunt Harry, I want to tell you how very much I appreciate the watch. Why didn't you write me about it? I did, Aunt Harry. Didn't you get the letter? I did not. Let me see the watch. Here it is. Now, who could that be at the door? I'll see who it is. Don't you want me to, Mother? No, thank you, Mary. I'm already on the way. So you like the watch? Aunt Harriet, I wouldn't part with it for any... Hello there, Herbert. How do you do, Mrs. Orange? Could I speak to Henry a minute? I'm sorry, but Henry's at dinner. But I have to see him. We're having guests, Herbert. Well, could I go into the dining room and speak to him? No, you better go back home and see him tomorrow morning. Oh, no. I'll wait here until he's through. But Henry will be busy all but evening. But, Mrs. Aldrich... Herbert, I'm quite sure anything you have to say can wait until morning. Goodbye, oh, dear. Okay, Mrs. Aldrich. The only thing is... My goodness, Herbert Thompson never comes over to this house except when we're eating. Who doesn't? Herbert. Oh, Herbert? Herbert Thompson? Yes. What's the matter with him? Nothing. Henry, are you all through? Yes, Father. I've caught up with you. Well, I'll clear the table then. Mary, you helped with dinner. I'm sure Henry would be glad to clear the table. Oh, yes, Mother. Sure. Should we keep our forks for the pie? No, dear. We're going to have clean ones. Oh, okay. Henry, don't break anything going through that door. I won't. Now, put everything on the big kitchen table. Yes, Mother. Everybody. Hey, Henry. Hey, Henry. Gee whiz, who's that? It's me. Herbert, where are you? I'm here behind the refrigerator. Oh, Henry, I've got to have my watch. Well, listen, Herbert, aren't I paying you for the use of it? But if I don't get it, I'll lose a month's allowance. Herbert, you can't back out on a bargain. But you shouldn't have talked me into it. Listen, Herbert, have sense. Can't you see I'm... I'm... Do I or don't I get my watch? Let me have it just until the end of the meal. No. Henry! Yes, Mother? Right away, Mother. Henry, wait. Get out, Herbert. i got to go back. Well, I'm going to wait right here, Henry, until I get that watch. No, Herbert. Henry! I- I'm just putting the dishes down carefully, Mother. Here I come. Was there something you wanted? I'll take the rest of the dishes out. Oh, wait, Mother. I'll take it off. I'll, I'll take everything in one load. Henry, look out. I haven't spilled a thing. Please sit down while I take these things out. But, Mother, why not at least let Mary? She's good at a thing like that. Mary's done more than her share. Then I think I'll go up and lie down. So what's the matter with you? I have a fever. You're not to go to bed until the dishes are done. I'll be right back to the pie, Harriet. Henry, must you drink an entire glass of water in one gulp? No, no, uh, don't you drink it. <coughs> Henry, what are you doing? <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Here, you're letting me slap you on the back. 
I'm all right, Aunt Harriet. What do you think I found in the kitchen? Listen, Mother, let me explain. Lane, I left the burner on under a brand new pan. You left the burner on under a pan? I did. Oh, here, Harriet, a piece of pie for you. I couldn't eat a piece that big unless there's some cheese to go with it. I have the cheese right here. Well, where are you going now, Mother? Back to get the rest of the pie. I don't want any. But, Henry, the rest of us might. Oh, oh, sure, of course. Henry, you still need a new bicycle? Well, I could certainly use one. Mary. Yes, Mother. How many pieces of pie did you cut? Five. Well, I brought in two, and when I just went back out, there were only two left. There's one missing? There is. Well, I guess Mary only cut four. But I'm sure I cut five. Well, well, don't go back, Mother. I can't eat a thing. It's the best pie I ever ate. Well, what could that be? That whistle? Yes. Uh, oh, I imagine it's just one of the fellows outside or something. It sounded as though it were right here in this house. I think it was in the cellar. From the cellar, Mary? Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous. Gee whiz, what is there in the cellar that would whistle? Oh, will you have some salt, Aunt Harriet? On my pie? Well, some people like it. <laughs> Henry, the doctor says Aunt Harriet must never touch salt. Well, in that case, she certainly doesn't want any. Isn't that strange? Sam, is the hot water heater down the basement all right? Well, perhaps I'd better go down and see. You sit still, Father, and finish your pie. Well, I don't care for any more. Well, I'm halfway out to the kitchen already. Well, just turn the draft off. Yes, Father. Hey, Herbert, you here in the kitchen? Herbert? Herbert, you down here in the basement? Yes, and I want my watch. My gosh, it's so dark down here. Where are you? In the cold thing. Listen, Herbert, do you want to get me into serious trouble? You want me to go up and tell you, Aunt Harriet, that's my watch you have? Please, I beg of you, with all that's decent inside of you, Herbert, please don't go up. Well, I'm going up right now. All right, Herbert, here's your watch. Gee whiz. You better give it to me. Here, take the darn thing. Gee whiz, did you drop it? You drop it. Well, where is it? Don't you have any light in this part of the cellar? What do you want with a light in the coal bin for? Are you sure you aren't stepping on it? How would I know? If I am, Henry, you'll be responsible. It's a funny thing. I fell all around on the floor. There isn't any sign of it. Well, let me feel. Do you have it? No. Herbert, here's a broom. Stand up in the coal while I try to find it by sweeping. Okay. Henry! Yes, Father? What are you doing down there? Uh, I'm sweeping the cellar. <laughs> what for? Uh, it's something I should have done weeks ago. Herbert, Herbert, look, I found it. It's okay. Yes. Look out, Henry. <laughs> Herbert. Herbert, are you buried? Give me the watch, Henry. Quick, Herbert, quick. My father's coming, I think. Let me up the stairs. You can't go upstairs. You've got to go in here. In where? In this little room where my father has his workbench. Okay. Henry! Don't bother to come down, father. What's the trouble down there? Nothing. Are you in there, Herbert? Yes. Well, close the door tight. I can't. There's no latch on the inside. Here, I'll close it. Give me my watch. May I ask why you're sweeping the cellar while your Aunt Harriet is taking dinner with us? I guess I just didn't stop to think, father. Who closed the door to my workroom? Could I have? I certainly hope you didn't snap that lock, son. Oh, it snapped by itself. Well, that's a nice state of affairs. I've told everyone in this house I've lost both keys to that lock, and it must not be closed. You mean it can't be opened? Of course it can't. Not until I get a locksmith tomorrow afternoon. Now, getting back to the troubles of Henry Aldrich. Henry, having lost the new watch his Aunt Harriet gave him, has borrowed one exactly like it from his friend Herbert. Herbert, in trying to get the watch back, got locked in Mr. Aldrich's workroom. The scene opens now in the Aldrich kitchen. Henry! Yes, Father? Where are you? I'm in the kitchen asking Mary if there's anything I can do to help her. Your Aunt Harriet has been waiting here in the living room for you to come and play rummy with her. Yes, Father, I'll be right there. Listen, Mary, did you put in that phone call? Yes, Henry. Well, what did the locksmith say? His wife said she'd send him over the minute he got home. Well, did you tell her Herbert's been locked in the cellar for more than an hour and a half? Yes. Henry! I'm coming right away, Father. And don't forget, Henry, what you promised to give me for putting in that call. No, Mary, you get my allowance for the second and third weeks in November. Henry! Coming, Father! Henry! 
Miss Ann Harriet, all ready to play? Well, I'm almost ready to go home. Sit down here and deal these cards. Yes, Ann Harriet, I can give each seven cards. Henry, do you know anything about Herbert Thompson? Herbert? Mrs. Thompson just phoned. Herbert hasn't been home all evening. Is that right? The way this younger generation stays out nowadays. Play your first card. Oh, oh yeah. His mother hasn't seen him for two hours. Boy, does time fly in a crisis. In a crisis? I'll go to the door. You stay right here and play with me. Yeah, but that might be for me. I'll see who it is. I'm on my way now. How do you do? Oh, how do you do? Sorry to have kept you waiting. Kept me waiting? Yes, ma'am. Didn't you phone for a locksmith? Who is it, Mother? Henry, ask your father if he phoned for a locksmith. Oh, is there one out there? Well, yes, sir. Well, I didn't phone for you, but I do have a job downstairs you might attend to. Father, who is it? Henry, play your card. Well, you got somebody locked up downstairs? Locked up? No, sir. Well, this place I was called to has an emergency of some kind. See, I better go back to the shop and check up with my wife. Oh, I'm sorry, this wasn't the house. Oh, that's okay, lady. All in the day's work. Father, has the man gone? Yes, dear. Is Mary in the kitchen? Yes. I think I'll get Aunt Harriet a glass of water. I don't want any water. Oh, yes, you do, Aunt Harriet. She was, I'd be very glad to get it. Mary. What is it, Henry? Mary, Mary, listen, you got to phone the locksmith again. Well, hasn't he come? He's come and gone. They sent him away. Henry, I've done all I'm going to. Mary, don't you realize my best friend is down in the basement, locked in that room. Maybe without air. Henry, if you think I'm going to make myself ridiculous by phoning that locksmith every ten minutes, you're crazy. Look, Mary, would you be interested in my allowance for the first week in December? Well... That practically cleans me out up to Christmas. Henry, where's that water? I'm letting it run in, Harriet. All right for you, Mary. I'm putting the full responsibility for Herbert's condition on your shoulders. When we get to the door to Father's workroom open and Herbert comes to, he'll want to know who did this to him. But, Henry, I haven't even seen him. Henry! Yes, Aunt Harriet. Here's your glass of ice-cold water. Now I can sit down and play. Here you are. Thank you. What did you do? Let the hot water run? Was it warm? I'll put it down and let it cool. How could that have happened? See, I played that card, didn't I? I discarded it. Oh, Oh, then it's my turn. Sam, is that someone sawing wood? Is what someone sawing wood? Well, well, well. I thought I heard a saw. You still haven't discarded. Oh, no. Well, well, well. What do you mean? What do you mean, well, well, well? You haven't put your car down. I thought I heard that sawing again. Yes. It sounded as though it were in the basement. Maybe it's the hot water heater. I didn't even hear a noise. Well, if you listen, you hear it. <laughs> Henry, will you please stop singing? I'd like to hear what that sawing is. Oh, excuse me. There, Aunt Harriet, is my card. And Harriet, did you know I've been taking music lessons? I'll play a tune for you. Not now. Look, here's what I learned so far. Henry. Yes, Mother? I want you to go back to that card table, and if I hear one word out of you for the next five minutes, I'm going to have to ask you to go up to bed. Yes, Mother. Now then, let's listen. Well? You wait. Uh, who could that be? Oh, it's probably that locksmith again. Is it? I don't know, dear, and I won't know until I open this door. Hello, Mrs. Aldrich. Herbert. Mother, is that Herbert? Henry, come back here. Henry, I want to talk to you. Henry's playing rummy with his aunt, Herbert. And if you don't mind, I'll go into the living room. Who's coming in here? I am. I've always wanted to play rummy, and now I'm going to. <laughs> Harriet, what's the score? I'm 2,000 ahead. As soon as I'm 3,000, I'm going. <laughs> Herbert, how would you like another glass of ginger ale? Sure. Young man, do you realize this is the fourth bottle you've had? It is. If you drink any more, you're going to go right up in the air. Herbert! Yes, Mary? Your mother wants to speak to you on the phone. Okay. You mean to say that young man is actually going to leave this room? <laughs> well, I had a nice nap. Father, you've been asleep for two hours. Oh, I'm glad to see Herbert's gone. What makes you think he's gone? 
Where is he? He's phoning for his pajamas. But, Mother, it's just a question of time. As soon as his Aunt Harriet goes, I got it. He's got what? There are several things I'd like to know. One is that locksmith coming back the second time. Yeah, said some man was locked up here. Well, I'll certainly be interested in reading who it was in the morning papers. Henry, I'm quitting. You are? Oh, uh, this early? I'm not going yet. Just not going to play anymore. Yes, Aunt Harriet. Henry, I want to see your watch. It's exactly eight minutes after 11. Let me look at it. Oh, there's just one little thing I'd like to explain. Give it to me? Yes, ma'am. How would you like to have me take this down to the jewelers and have your monogram put on it? Whose monogram, Henry? Whose do you think? You mean my initials? Naturally. Oh, I don't think he's like that. How do you know he wouldn't? Oh, no, Aunt Harriet. Gee whiz. Supposing Henry wanted to change his name sometime. To what, for instance? Anything. Yeah. Only girls use their monograms. Henry, you let me take this, and sometime during the next week or so, I'll have it engraved. I'll put it in my pocketbook. Would you like to have me carry your things out to the car for you? What things? Well, your pocketbook or anything. No, thank you. Uh, Henry, supposing you help your Aunt Harry on with her coat while I hold her pocketbook. I'll put my pocketbook. I'll put it right down here, thank you. Uh, Aunt Harriet, don't you want to leave it there and go upstairs and see my new wallpaper? You mean to say you got new wallpaper without asking me what to get? Well, you told me to get it. Well, I'll go up and see it, but I know I won't like it. Oh, but I think you will. Hand me my pocketbook. Do you want to carry it all the way upstairs? No. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, Henry, uh, don't you think it'd be nice if we helped your Aunt Harriet up the stairs? Y- yes, Herbert, let's do that. Not so fast, boys. So fast. And Henry? Yes, Aunt Harriet. It isn't necessary to push me. Alice. Yes, Sam. Would you please tell me what's gotten into those two boys? He's trying to be nice to Harriet. It isn't like them to be that nice. But Herbert's fond of her, Sam. He said... Well, Herbert. Uh, yes, Mr. Waldrich? Did you like the wallpaper? Oh, very much. Oh, well, uh, Henry, I guess I'll be going. About what time is it, Herbert, my friend? Well, my friend, it is exactly 21 minutes after 11. Thank you very much. Alice, what do you think I've lost? What? Well, sir? So long, Henry. You wait, young man. I want to say good night to you. What did you lose? I locked my car out in front and left the keys inside it. What? Sam, go out and get them. And how would I do that? Oh, here they are in my pocket. The only thing is... Now what? Henry's watch is gone. Uh, you mean it isn't there, Aunt Harriet? Henry, I gotta go home. Yeah, so long, Herbert. Now, who's that at the door? Uh, hello? Hello, Mr. Aldridge. Why, Nancy Adams, what are you doing here? Is Henry here? I just found his watch. What? His watch? Where did you find it? He left it over at my house this morning. Well, how would you account for a thing like that? And Henry also left this letter you forgot to mail. A letter? Oh, yeah, here, Aunt Harriet, it's for you. Thanking you for my watch. Listen again next week, same time, same station, for another sparkling half hour with your favorite youngster, his family, and his pals. The Aldrich Family, starring Ezra Stone, is written by Clifford Goldsmith.